بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس سیشن وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ سیڈرو بلاسٹک انیمیا سو وٹ از سیڈرو بلاسٹک انیمیا اٹ از این انیمیا ڈیو ٹو ڈیفیکٹو پروٹو پور فائرین سینتس وی کین آلسو کال اٹ پروٹو پور فائرین ڈیفیشینس انیمیا فار ایزی لرننگ سو وی ہیو انیمیا وی ہیو ڈکریز ان دا ریڈ بلڈ سیل ماس وی ہیو ڈکریز ان دا ہیماٹوکریٹ وی ہیو ڈکریز ان دا آکسیجن ڈیلیوری ٹو دا ٹیشوز ڈیو ٹو وچ وی ہیو ویکنس وی ہیو فٹیگ وی ہیو پلپیٹیشنس first of all let's understand the terminology we have a blastic anemia in which we have immature red blood cells and sidro refers to iron so we have iron rings around the nuclei so we have uh, iron rings around the nuclei of the immature red blood cells in sideroblastic anemia in anemia due to defective protoporphyrin synthesis we know that um, Uh, in inside the red blood cells we have hemoglobin and hemoglobin is made up of heme and globin and heme is made up of protoporphyrin and iron so if we do not have protoporphyrin we will not have heme if we will not have heme we will not have hemoglobin if we do not have hemoglobin we will result in microcytic anemia so uh, we know that um, heme is made up of iron and protoporphyrin if we do not have protoporphyrin we will have increase in iron and uh, free iron and free iron will accumulate inside the mitochondria and it will form a ring around the nuclei and it will result in sideroblastic anemia now we have a defect in the synthesis of protoporphyrin so we will understand the synthesis of protoporphyrin the first step is ala synthase converting uh, succinyl coenzyme a to ala amino lavulinic acid using uh, vitamin b6 as a cofactor so succinyl coenzyme is converted into ala now uh, by ala synthase using uh, vitamin b6 as a cofactor now if we have any problem with ala synthase or vitamin b6 we will not be converting succinyl coenzyme a to ala and ultimately we will not have protoporphyrin so if we do not have protoporphyrin we will have sideroblastic anemia the next step is ala dehydratase converting uh, um, ala to porphobilinogen so we are converting uh, ala uh, amino levolenic acid to porphobilinogen in the second step uh, by ala dehydratase so if we have any problem with this enzyme we will not be converting ala to porphobilinogen and we will not have ultimate synthesis of uh, protoporphyrin and we will have sideroblastic anemia and um, further steps convert uh, porphobilinogen to protoporphyrin and in the last step we have uh, the ferrochelates converting protoporphyrin uh, to heme obviously because it combines a uh, protoporphyrin to iron and as a result we have the production of heme so if we have any problem with, with this enzyme again we will have uh, sideroblastic anemia uh, now we know that heme is made up of iron and protoporphyrin we do not have protoporphyrin we will have iron which will go inside the mitochondria and the mitochondria inside the mitochondria it will become trapped and it will form a ring around the nucleus which is which are called sideroblast so we call it sideroblastic anemia so iron is transferred to, to the erythrite precursor cells and enters the mitochondria to form heme if protoporphyrin is deficient iron remains trapped in the mitochondria this is the basic concept if we do not have protoporphyrin we will have free iron if we have free iron it will get trapped inside the mitochondria iron laden mitochondria form a ring around the nuclei of the erythrite precursor cells these uh, cells are called sideroblasts so you should remember this that these cells are called sideroblast blast means immature red blood cells and sidro refers to iron so we have iron rings around the nuclei of the immature red blood cells um, now the causes of uh, sideroblastic anemia anemia it can be congenital or acquired in congenital we have a problem with ala synthase and we know that if we have any problem with any step in the production of uh, uh, protoporphyrin we will not have protoporphyrin and as a result we have will have iron Uh, overload uh, outside the nuclei in the mitochondria and we will form rings around the nuclei and we will result in sideroblastic anemia so it is the red limiting enzyme uh, and acquired causes include alcoholism a uh, lead poisoning because lead inhibits two enzymes ala dehydrogenase and ferrochelates and ultimately we do not have the production of protoporphyrin and heme so if we have uh, sideroblastic anemia vitamin b6 deficiency can also cause sideroblastic anemia because vitamin b6 is required as a cofactor for ala synthase so if ala synthase is not working 
uh, protoporphyrin will not be synthesized and again we will have iron accumulation outside of the mitochondria so on laboratory we will have increase in the ferritin because we will, we will have increase in the uh, excess iron uh, which will accumulate outside of the nuclei in the mitochondria total iron binding capacity will be low because ferritin is high uh, the serum iron will be high the percent saturation will be high so we have actually an iron overloaded state so to sum it up what is sideroblastic anemia sideroblastic anemia is an anemia due to defective protoporphyrin synthesis now what is protoporphyrin protoporphyrin is a component of hemoglobin so if we have a deficiency of a component of hemoglobin we will not have hemoglobin if we do not have hemoglobin inside the red blood cells we will have uh, anemia obviously so hemoglobin is required for the transport of oxygen so if we do not have hemoglobin we will have anemia if you do not have protoporphyrin we will not have heme because heme is composed of iron and protoporphyrin so if we do not have protoporphyrin protoporphyrin we will not have heme and uh, if we do not have heme we will not have hemoglobin because hemoglobin is composed of heme and globin so if we do not have hemoglobin we will have anemia uh, protoporphyrin synthesis the different steps the first and second steps a step and the last step are explained here the first step is the production of ALA the second step is the uh, production of porphobilinogen and the last step is the production of heme by ferrochelatase so three enzymes are involved ALA synthase ALA dehydratase and ferrochelatase so if we have any problem with these enzymes we will not have the production of uh, protoporphyrin we will have defective protoporphyrin synthesis and defective protoporphyrin synthesis this is leads to sideroblastic anemia uh, we do not have heme we do not have hemoglobin we do not have um, oxygen carrying capacity we have anemia um, the what are sideroblasts so we have discussed it time and again that uh, if we do not have protoporphyrin we will have excess of iron which will get trapped outside uh, the nuclei in the mitochondria and then they will form rings around the nuclei which are called sideroblast immature red blood cells with um, iron containing granules outside of the nuclei uh, so if uh, the congenital cause includes uh, include a problem in ALA synthase the acquired causes include alcoholism lead poisoning and vitamin B6 deficiency for example if we are undergoing treatment for tuberculosis uh, we are using isoniazid isoniazid causes vitamin b6 deficiency and if we have vitamin b6 deficiency we will have defective functioning of ala synthase and we will not have protoporphyrin and as a result we will not have heme and we will not have hemoglobin and we will have uh, sideroblastic anemia so this was the basic concept that the main problem there is with the problem with protoporphyrin thank you very much